what is going on community what is going on people of earth i am tj aka flash by night and i think today we're actually going to make transformers thursday today we are going to take a look at issue number 26 we're going to meet the mechanic and we're going to have a funeral for a friend but in all seriousness we're actually having a funeral for a friend as we get ready to say goodbye to Optimus Prime. But this does bring up a question. So this book predates the death of Superman by a few years. So this funeral for a friend came first between those two characters. But how old is the funeral for a friend concept in comics? If you know any that are older, let me know. Getting on with the story, we have Ratchet, the Autobots medic, trying furiously to put Optimus Prime back together again to get one small spark to go through Optimus Prime's body and to bring him back to life while the rest of the Autobots watch on in hope and in anticipation. Unfortunately for them, and especially Ratchet, he couldn't make it happen. Optimus Prime is officially dead and they have to make plans to have a funeral for a friend. The one Autobot that won't be there though is Ratchet because this is weighing heavily on Ratchet's mind. He can't forgive himself for not being able to save Optimus Prime. One of the protective bots, First Aid, does remind Ratchet that they are there to also help the living, which is a point that he can't accept right then and there, but he'll come around. Also, one really important thing we need to know is that Omega Supreme set up this automatic defense system for the base so that they can all be gone and not have to worry about the base in their absence. And no, it's not that complicated. It's just a big on and off lever. Because why would we want to make security complicated? So we get most of the Autobots taking off so they can pay respect to Optimus Prime in their way while Ratchet stays at the base and kind of mopes around and even feels guilty for some of the Autobots who've been injured in battle, but he hadn't had the chance or the parts to fix them up and get them back to full capacity. Once Ratchet does kind of get his head on straight, gets back in the game, he decides to go to a local junkyard to see what parts he can find and maybe he can make himself useful by fixing up some of these Autobots I talked about a minute ago. But once he's there, he runs into car theft activity, gone bad, and he ends up with two involuntary passengers, one a criminal who calls himself the mechanic. Criminal, don't call him thief, he doesn't like that. And while the police are giving chase to Ratchet, who doesn't want to reveal himself, and these two criminals, the mechanic finds a couple of Ratchet's medical tools which can also be used for weapons. But once they get to a safe place, Ratchet is forced to reveal himself and the mechanic gets all kinds of ideas, like following Ratchet back to the base to see what else he can get into. So the mechanic follows Ratchet back to the base. He sneaks in behind Ratchet before Ratchet can turn the defense system back on and he manages to sneak up on Ratchet with one of his tools still and shoots Ratchet in the kneecap. You see, the mechanic is there to find more weapons, to find more technology. He fashions himself a legitimate criminal, and maybe with some Autobot weaponry, he can be there. And as the rest of the Autobots are pulling back up to the base, they turn off the defense systems by remote. But the mechanic is right next to the lever, and so he turns it back on. And the Autobots basically can't get into the base and they're getting shot at by their own defense systems. Meanwhile, the mechanic, yep, you guessed it, shot Ratchet in the other kneecap. So now Ratchet can't run. Ratchet feels bad because he's not really a fighter and the mechanic figured that out. But Ratchet was able to transform and get back to the section of the base where all of the deactivated Autobots are and somehow he's able to activate Prowl, the Autobot that turns into a police car. Of course, seeing the police car freaks the mechanic all the way out and he gets out of the base pronto, which in turn allows Ratchet 
to turn off the defense system and the rest of the Autobots can now recover now that they're not being shot at. And the book basically wraps up with first aid and Ratchet outside patching some of the Autobots up and Ratchet realizing that yes, he still has to be there for the living and he's basically gained his confidence back. As for the mechanic, he and his sidekick Juan drive off Juan is surprised that they do all this for a car thief. And once again, the mechanic reminds us not to call him thief. And that was it for issue number 26, a nice little one and done story. We gave Prime his send off. We gave Ratchet back his confidence and all's well that ends well. Until issue number 27, when we really shake things up. But that will be next week for Transformers Thursday. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you saw something you liked. If you did enjoy yourself, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to keep up with me, keeping up with the Transformers, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Of course, feel free to leave comments. And as we always do at this time, love yourself, love others, and I will be back in a flash.